Hello everybody, God Center Gamer here. And we are back with Evo Land 2. Now, as you can see, I do have a continue there. And if I were to look at that, yeah, an hour. So, basically, I already recorded this for about an hour. And that was it. So, anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Evil Land. So, Evil Land is a game that, as you continue, it gets uh, more detailed. Can't move to the left right now, so I'm literally forced to move to the right. You hear the buzzer, move to the left. I can move to the right as well, but I pretty much have to move to the left because there's no Easter eggs or anything. Well done, G. Now look around, up the ceiling, and down at the floor. Down at the floor, up the ceiling. Haha. -ha. Very good. You should now feel the overwhelming urge to leave the room. Maybe I do? Maybe I don't. Okay, might as well go. So, like, I did a whole bunch of messing around in here the last time, and there's really nothing there, so. Perfect, G. Very good. Now you know that the world is not limited to a single room. Wow. Look farther. Excellent, G. As you can see, shrubs are blocking your way. You should feel an irrational desire to chop them down with the sword we have provided. Let's see, what kind of sword have they provided? Old sword. Yep. Congratulations, you are quite pleased to have chopped down your shrubs. As a reward, we will put on some relaxing music. Good. You appreciate this music. Continue on your way, G. Now, I'll go back into the room. Let's say some nice music. Anyway, let's get on with this. And we just go. We will now conduct a combat expert. Oops, our apologies. A competing error. In short, fight. Okay. Actually, I'm G. You are pleased with your fight. So that's him. He passed all the tests with flying colors. Yes, he's just right for the task. It would be interesting to him. I certainly hope you're right. A single misstep could bring about the end of time itself. Yes, and you're trusting this someone who can swing a sword and walk around. Congratulations. Pressure showed, Tessa. We've checked and double checked. Everything will proceed as planned. Good. Then we'll be able to activate the machine. Make the necessary preparations. Yes, Professor. Lovely sound of an explosion. Yeah, anyway. If my description of Evil M wasn't great before, um, super sequence. A long time ago, the Magi civilization had discovered great secrets. Cannot move forward. I have to wait for this. No one knows exactly, but it disappeared soon after that, marking the beginning of a new era. In year 950, humans and demons fought a merciless war. The human empire won at great cost. Lovely error there. Fifty years later, the city of Genova is preparing the remembrance ceremony of the victory. Not everything is as peaceful as it seems. So, 
excuse me if I'm a little bit like lackluster in uh, everything here because I already did this for an entire hour so uh, yeah. I did a lot of exploring and looked around at everything cool and all the flavor texts and stuff so a lot of the experience was always is already a little bit ruined for me but it's, it's a really cool game. It's got a lot of flavor text in it, uh, a lot of hidden secrets as well, and some pretty cool things. Anyway. Oh, you're awake? Are you feeling better? My father found you passed out deep in the forest. You don't even remember anything, not even your name. Maybe if you wandered around forest, I would help jog your memory. By the way, I didn't introduce myself. My name is... I'm just gonna keep it at Fina. In fact, I think I'll just keep it as the default for everything this time. I I hope you remember everything quickly. Okay, and we are in the world. You have found Tenji. Are you really going to steal from the people who helped you? Nah. Good. Best to leave the money here. It's not like you're going to need it. Uh, probably won't. So, uh, yeah. A little bit of an invisible wall right there. Fire. Must be nice in winter. A nice pot that must contain a lot of interesting things. But you can't open it. <laughs> Chest contains a beautiful green adventurer costume. No way you could wear that. You would look ridiculous. This chest probably could be opened if the developers of this game had time to code it. Alchemy instruments, mushrooms, and butterflies. Who could use that? Yeah, there's a lot of interesting flavor text. As you can see, there's 11... Uh, there's a reference to... Legend of Zelda, got a whole bunch of stuff in here, meta jokes, like... It's a pretty interesting game. You're the young man I found in the forest, aren't you? Fina's been worried about you. Be sure to thank her when you get the chance. If you wish to go into the forest, take the path that crosses the bridge and make you wear anymore. But you do well to get yourself a weapon before you head out. This village is so boring, I would have loved to live at the time of Emperor's Boat there. Who knows, maybe I could have been a general in his army and fought demons. Not as fun as you think it would be. In the end, found 5G. The sim was built shortly after Fina's grandfather founded the village. We welcome any traveler who wants rest here. Well, except demons, of course. No way one of them has foot in this place. Magi and the Guardian, Imperial Library Publishing Group. And uh, if I remember correctly, nothing over there is even interactable, so... And here's a weapon shop. Empty. And... Can't access from that side. Empty. Empty. Ah, oh, 5G. Uh... Today's mighty armor. It's really too heavy. You shouldn't have skipped leg day. <laughs> uh, it's empty. Merchants Illuminati of Genova. Dr. T. Conspiracy. It's empty. Welcome to everything under the sun. Here you find everything under the sun. Except, I don't have anything to sell at the moment. The road to the Empire's capital was blocked by a rock slide. It'll probably be a few more days before they clear it out. Yes, I know. Another rock slide. It's like they happen every other day. You looking for a weapon to go out into the forest? There may be one in the old house northeast of the village. But it's been abandoned since... I'd rather not talk about it for now. Better track down the old man Pole. He's got the key. Watch yourself, he's not the most easygoing sort, especially if you bother him while he's fishing. Hey, random person. Don't you dare tell Fina of this, but I'm kind of jealous of her. I mean, she's the chief's daughter, and she's so sweet and full of life, and apparently she has magical powers. Although, her whole family is a little off. Okay then. Don't have my sword anymore. Um, hello. What a nice day to fish in peace, with nobody around to bug me. Well, almost nobody. What, a key to the old house? Hmm, I might have it, or not. It depends. How about you do me a favor in return? Okay. See, I have this fish-related issue I can't seem to solve. Maybe a young fellow like yourself could help me out. Number one, fishing rods. My fishing rods are all tangled up. Can't tell one from another. Each time they cross, follow the line that goes left or right. Which rod should I use to catch that fish? So, I know the answer, it's four, and 
It's easy to, just looking at it. So it goes down across the wire to three. It goes down on the second wire to two. Third wire to one. And then it goes back to two. Ending on the hook right in front of it. So it's four. Thanks for helping me out. Let me give you this old key. It's no good to me anyway. User guide. Insert into the lock of the appropriate door, then turn. Thank you. <laughs> and I am gonna skip a few of the villagers because they're not really incredibly interesting. I already went through them, so I didn't really want to do it. Like, like I'll go to this guy because he's kind of like in the path, or not. I know he does have pets. There we go. We were against demons 50 years ago with the Empire of Victorious. We've had peace ever since, but you never know. Let's keep running and stay in shape. Don't let me out for a stroll when forced around this time, but a bunch of monsters appeared there recently. In fact, though, it was right after Finroth brought you here. They attacked you, didn't they? I guess. I heard the pirates are camped out on the isle. They, so far, they only attack boats belonging to the Sierra Traders. Rumor has it that their leader is a giant with a crazy big mustache. I have a thing for mustaches. Okay. Go on this way. <laughs> have you heard of the Sylphs? They're rather strange beings that exist outside of time. Some say a Sylph lived in these parts long ago. What might have happened to her? You know, it was a her. I'm good. I wonder if there's a sword in his chest. Here's opening it doesn't shatter on the first blow. Of course, that was the flavor text for the previous sword, which we already did not. I'll leave that little guy there. Not. Uh, I could just leave him there, but we have a small chance of dropping something. So, you know, might as well. And there's loot to be had. Might as well take every opportunity to get it. Oh, yeah. And boom. There we go. And final block. Okay. So now we have the sword. We can chop up bushes. About anything we want. On my way to go to the forest. Help me, the evil demon king is chasing me. Ah. I am the evil demon king. If I catch you, I'll bite you. Legend has it that a guardian lives in the forest. This does have some very ancient ruins. I've never run into a guardian there. Nope. Nope. Can't break that one. Up north there's the old spellbook forest, which is usually pretty quiet. Oh. Audio glitch again. Um. Okay. else here. Nope. Hey, new music. Yep. So, yeah. Um, a little bit of backstory on Evil Land while we're uh, just farming up these guys. Uh, so Evil Land was originally a Flash game. Uh, I don't remember exactly who the maker is, but uh, they're obviously now a company, because they got a lot bigger. But uh, originally it was a Flash game. Um, like this was 10 years ago? I don't know, it was a long time ago. Um, it was originally a Flash game, and then uh, after getting kickstarted, they turned it into an actual game. So that was like uh, Evil Land, 
it was basically the same thing, except uh, they did a little bit, like, it looked a little bit better. They added new parts to the game, because I think it ended, like, somewhere before the part where it would go, like, Final Fantasy, I want to say 7 style. But, anyway, like, before it got, like, uh, 3D style and stuff, it ended before that point in the original Flash game. But uh, in Evil Land 1, which I actually played through, so you can like look at my channel and see uh, what that's like. But it, basically, the concept is it goes from uh, being like an extremely basic, low uh, graphics uh, genre to like really detailed, and it just goes through all the different genres of gaming, and it's a really cool game. So anyway, God, how? Fina's being attacked by a whole bunch of mushrooms, apparently. Hey, leveled up. <laughs> I'm just, don't, don't mind me, I'm just gonna stand here and wave my hands up in the air while the mushroom's just gonna probably stab me in the back. Um, okay. <laughs> Usually I can manage on my own just fine, but it just so happens that I hate mushrooms. Anyway, thank you for your help, uh, still can't remember your name, can you? How about I choose one for you? It'd be temporary, of course, for as long as it takes for you to remember it all. Let's see, your name could be... Goro. What a great name. So, Goro, what do you say I help you get deep into the forest to the spot where my father found you? It just so happens that I have this little power that could be real use to you. And frankly, I intend to go there and find out why all those monsters appeared recently. So shall we? Nah. Sure. <laughs> Pina has joined the team. Okay. Going along. Do, 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 do. Hopefully I don't miss any secrets. Because there are, like, yeah, hidden secrets and stuff around. Now that we're a team, we're going to have to work together. For example, those burn thorny bushes over there? You won't be able to cut through them by yourself to clear the way. But with my help and by focusing, you should be able to do it. Try focusing and I'll come to help you. So focusing is instead of just spamming, you hold it and away. Oh. Okay, why does it keep doing that? Let me just look at some stuff here. Um Don't look like anything's open up cause that to happen. Gonna close a few things and maybe that'll reduce lag a tiny bit. I don't know. See, good thing I was here. Still, that really tuckered me out. Once you call on me, I'll need to rest for a bit before going again. Feel free to ask the same, because I'm glad to help you out, Coral. So, up here you can see we got her in the top right. And there's also a whole bunch of icons here, which I'm guessing is gonna be a whole bunch of stuff that we unlock as time goes on. Um. In the bottom left, those are uh, stars that we can acquire, cards, and it looks like a special ore. And we got 80 gold so far, and we've been playing for 14 minutes. Hey. <laughs> okay, so, uh, got the old sword there. No classic, sounds three, three. Everything seems good. So let's continue. Save points. The game is saved when you enter or leave each zone, and each point you activate, don't key events. Yay. Thankfully you can't get for those little guys. Oh, hey, I one-shot them. Just realized that. Yoink. Bye, yoink. Ow. I got hit. How dare I? I suck. <laughs> well, if I wasn't gonna get hit there, I'm definitely gonna get hit here. Oh. Yeah. Uh, sorry for those audio now. Sorry for the audio glitches. Just gonna have to deal with them. I'm not sure if it's even. That rock just bit me. It's even on the recording. Because, uh. I'm. I don't know. 
I'll probably have to check it later, see if everything's good there. Actually, let me just move this down so I can see a little bit of the stats. Okay, and trash attack. But what's over here? Just looks like an enemy. But if you look up there, there's a chest. So I can just leave this charge for as long as I want, but ain't gonna leave too long. And I got hit again. And as I suck. You got green goop! Ah, it's sticky. Lovely. Okay, let's see. Ha! Oh. Super squirrel. I wonder what they're actually called, like acorn squirrels. Hey, one shot on Okay, we can't go over there, so let's go up here. We made it. This is the spot where my dad found you. Careful! I see some demons in the clearing. What could they be doing here? Let's hide, they don't look friendly. Is that it? Carrie, are you sure that's really a magilith? Professor Shiro's writings are unambiguous. If we activate this magilith, we'll be able to tackle the great amounts of magi energy. It's a magilith, all right. I saw one just like it years ago, but that one was broken. We absolutely need the energy from this man. According to Professor Shiro's occurrence, the energy within the forest guardian will be enough to trigger it. The guardian's been long dormant, so it must be an awakened state. We should have no trouble whatsoever defeating it. Soon I will have my revenge on those wretched humans. Prepare to summon the guardian. Girl, this is awful. If they wake the forest garden, they might attack my village. We gotta do something. You think we should stop them? Yeah. Risky. We might be better off warning somebody. But there's no time. Well, it looks like we're already out of time. The guardian! It's awake! Watch out! It's more powerful than we anticipated. Let the thing wear itself out destroying the village. We'll return afterwards and finish it off. I mean, doesn't really look like it's gonna destroy it though. It looks pretty happy. Oh no, Curl! If we don't do anything, it might attack my village. We'll have to try and stop it before it's too late. Eh, sure. I knew I could count on you. I'll help out. Just don't do anything rash, okay? That kind of rash? Smash thing. Yeah. Haven't gotten hit so far. So, uh, yeah. I don't want to I died on the first try doing that because I didn't know how to fight it. But, yeah, not really that hard. Hey, level up. Goro's leech level 3. So I am slightly lower level than last time because I haven't done as much running around, but whatever. Hmm. The Magilith is shining. I've never seen it do that. Is that what those demons were talking about? Yes, go up and touch it. That's a real smart idea. <laughs> There's something written on here. No, I'm Ipsum Mm, yes, speak all the writing on it as well. Absolutely genius. It's glowing. What the heck? Oh, we're in the TARDIS. Woo. <laughs> All Doctor Who references. Whoa. Hmm. What? What the heck happened? I feel different? Less detailed? How about you, Curl? Same? Yeah. Now where are we? It's a bit like Spellbook Forest, but there's something different about it. 
Could be my imagination, though. Either way, those demons put my village at risk. We've got to head there now and warn everyone. Think you can find the path again? Yeah. Alright, I trust you. Let's get going. Oh. Apparently these guys aggro without me, uh, having to do anything. Hey, got him. <laughs> so, as you can see, it got a little bit less detail, which used to be a feature in the original, uh, game. But it is no longer a feature in, uh, well, I'm not sure if it's a feature, because I only got an hour in. Which, you may think, hour's pretty long time. Now. Really is. Okay, I'm really getting annoyed at those audio glitches. I have no idea why they're happening. And I'm sorry for them happening if you can hear them, but I don't know. I think it might have something to do with the fact that I'm recording, because they were not happening when I wasn't recording. You got a collectible star! You have one of 30. Pain, they way. Take out these nuts. Hehe. <laughs> and Okay, and something I can do with this is I can push it. If I hadn't done that, and I'm pretty sure I would get stuck. More bushes. I'm rich. Okay, nothing over here, so I guess the only way it goes down. He thought that was a little bit more uh, outlined rock. Let's see what's over here. Ow. Puzzle solved! I just got hit twice for no reason. So that's continuing forward, and I'm not sure whether I actually went this path the last time, but I want to go it this time, and let's see what's over here. Oh, this is just the area where we found it. I definitely did go here last time. Well, whatever. Ooh, it's that way up there. See the edge of the world in the top left there. <laughs> hey, moving on my way back. Time to move onward. <laughs> <laughs> um, not sure if this is like a blocked off area or if this is continuing. This looks like it might be continuing. Yes, it is. Let's go back to the spellbook forest. Okay, everything respawns. Hey, level up. So if I wanted to, I could probably farm here, but I don't think I need to. But I do want to check out the other area that I could have gone way back when. Because I think there was, if I remember correctly, another area, but I think I may have remembered wrong because I probably passed it already. 
was... That looks like a bit, yep. I knew what it was, and I still didn't dodge it. Well, I guess this is the only... Lovely auto glitches. I guess this is the only way to go. Oh, and apparently I heal when I leave. 